Hello friends, welcome to Web Slideshows video tutorials series. In the previous video tutorial, we created a new HTML document with the name Slideshow. I right click on it, say open with the notepad. You can see that slideshow.html is open in the notepad and it has the basic HTML document structure code written. Title is set to Web Slideshows. I minimize it. I right click on slideshow.html, open with the Google Chrome. You can see that slideshow.html is open in the Chrome and title is set to web slideshows. We know that HTML is a structural language. It is used to code the structure of a web page. CSS is a presentational language. It is used to code the presentation of a web page. And JavaScript is a behavioral language. It is used to code the behavior of HTML elements. In this video tutorial, we are going to code basic structure of a slideshow. So let's get started. I go to notepad. Within the body section, I am going to create a div. I say opening div tag and closing div tag. This div is going to work like a wrapper. It is going to wrap all our slides. I told you that each image is considered as one slide. So we are going to add images to this div. To add images, we take help of img tag. So I say here img. I use src attribute. Here I say image 0.jpg which is available at the desktop and the width is equal to 100% and height HEIGST height is equal to 500 pixels double quotations and close. I'm going to say file save go to browser and refresh you should see image 0 loaded and it is taking the width of 100% and height of 500 pixels. We can add more images. So I copy this line of code and paste down here I say image one dot jpg file save go to browser and refresh you can see that two images are loaded image zero as well as image one. Now I'm going to identify them uniquely so that we can be able to access them in CSS or JavaScript to this div I'm going to give an ID of uh, slideshow. Now this div is uniquely identified in the page with the name slideshow. I can access this div in CSS with this ID attribute value or I can access this div within the JavaScript with this ID attribute value. Next I'm going to group all these images in one class called as slide. As we know that each image is treated as a slide. I'm going to give the class attribute value slide. Here I'm going to add class and I give the value as slide here also same thing I say class is equal to slide slide you can see that both images are grouped in one class called as slide now within the CSS I can very easily access all these images with the help of this class attribute value and apply styles so this is the basic structure of the slideshow Later, we can add more images if we want or more slides if we want. So for this video tutorial, this much is enough friends. I suggest you people to create up to here. In the next video tutorial, we code presentation of the slideshow. For more benefits and be up to date, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and don't forget to like, comment and share these videos with others so that everyone will get benefited. Keep learning, keep coding, keep sharing. Thank you guys. Thank you very much. See you in the next tutorial.